Elijah Gervais, and I'm 15. I am Lynn Mathurin, and we are in West Orange. What was your earliest memory? Like a uh, first bad experience, maybe first good experience? I have so many fond memories of St. Lucia because as you know, I was raised without a mother and a father. And so my very aging, sickly grandmother took care of me. But the universe always balanced things off. I remember growing up in a household where there was no electricity, but it was so full of love and laughter. When you grew up, uh, what did you want to be? What did you want to aspire to be? I had a lot of dreams. Like you, my mind is always wandering. Days that I was so sad that I didn't have my mom and my dad, I would write. And so growing up, I thought I would be this renowned writer. How was he, like, when you first landed, look in your eyes? How did you survive? How did you you know, deal with the new influences of America? I had to go to work right away. It was not the work that I was used to back in St. Lucia. You see, in St. Lucia, I was an airline employee going to work in high heels and red lipstick. And I arrived here and I was on the floor in someone's home working as a nanny. So my first job, Ila, you were four months old. It was the saddest thing to leave you behind and take care of all the children. Um, so I would go into a home and take care of nine months while you were four months. I was always driven by the fact that Elijah, you would never experience the life that I experienced. Mom, uh, I, I always thank you. I didn't grow up on an island. I don't know what it means to work that hard. I don't, I don't know what it means to make sacrifices yet. And all these things that you've done for me, I look at it and I say, what has this woman gone through? And I'm proud.